I can't believe I actually let you drag me all the way out here. Wow. London really does have some romantic spots and beautiful looking places. It's different to what it's like back home, but it definitely has its own style and charm. <sighs> There's just so much to study and so little time for sightseeing. I knew what I was getting myself into when I accepted the invitation from the clock tower, though. Let's sit down. <sighs> How did you even know this place existed? You've been exploring, huh? I wish I had as much free time as you did, but we both know that's not gonna happen. Not until the next extended break, anyway. Well, this is a good find. I wonder what those concrete structures used to be. Hmm. They look like ruins of some sort. We could always climb up there later and take a look. Here. <sighs> That's good. Dropping by the corner store was a great idea. Do you want some snacks? I've got crisps and a few of those shiny sweet apples you like. No thanks, I don't want a bite. I want to be nice and hungry for those sweet and sour phyllo pastries you made. A new place, new ingredients, new delicious food. What? You made dessert too? That's my favorite! Yes, I know I'm lucky to have landed someone who gets so excited about cooking. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just relieved you haven't been getting yourself into trouble... much. I can't keep an eye on you all the time, obviously. But I guess you do know how to handle yourself a lot better now, especially with some of the training I've been putting you through. Speaking of training, I still have to practice for that sparring competition tomorrow. Yeah, they made it harder. The room's gonna have a number of randomly placed, magically charged obstacles, so I've been working on shortening my reaction times even more. Plus, it's time I showed that little princess who's boss. N nothing I just want to be the best I can be, that's all. And I want to be the best for you. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not blushing. It's from being out in the sun, okay? All right, you caught me. Huh? Yeah, that's true. I did practice for hours yesterday. Hey, maybe I am a little obsessive, but just because I don't slack off from time to time like someone, it doesn't mean I don't know how to have fun. <laughs> Heads up! <laughs> so you do have your wits about you. Ah. <sighs> 
Mm -hmm. The air out here is so fresh, and these wildflowers smell amazing. Plus, this view. Huh? Thanks. I'll put it in my hair. Or perhaps you can do it for me? <laughs> How does it look? Let's take a picture. No, I want to take one together. Okay, let me see. Oh, I was about to blink in this one. Can we try again? Please, I'll be ready this time. One, two, three. That's much better, kind of. <laughs> Except now you look like you're about to blink. Oh, we'll both be ready this time. Cheese! It's perfect. Could you send it to me later? I want to use it as my background. I am. I am enjoying myself. Thanks for bringing me out here. That's true. Although the Fifth Holy Grail War has ended, and there's no imminent danger, I still find myself on high alert a lot of the time. There are a lot of complex people at the Clock Tower. Things may not always be as they seem. I resisted coming out here in the beginning, but now I see this is one of the best activities you could have gotten me to do. And I always enjoy spending extra time with you. You know that. I have something for you. These are rare minerals and crystals obtained by the department. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything the school would disapprove of. Technically, you're helping me out, so you're allowed to have them. <sighs> I've spent a lot of time studying their properties, as well as the kinds of magic they carry best. For example, this yellow one here has been charged with magic, that brings hope and upliftment. As long as you put it in the sunlight once in a while, it won't deplete. Warmth creates warmth. That's what makes it so special. A lot of the standard gems I use either can't be reused once the magic has been drained, or they're not self-charging. This one is different. I'm aware that it doesn't sound as mysterious as the other gems I've worked on, but maybe, in actuality, this is the most important one. Hope! It's yours. Don't mention it. I made a promise to someone I admire that I would take good care of you. After all, you're always taking care of others. You'll tell me if you think I'm not doing a good job, right? Yeah, well, you better. This blue one here is for divination and farsight, and the red one is a healing monastore, just in case. The purple one contains a shield that senses and automatically dissipates any incoming magical attack. It's strong, but it can only be used once. The power level of the magic in these gems far surpassed the standard lot. <laughs> 
I'll be sure to share all the best things with you. And I'm determined to keep growing and learning. Have I ever told you just how much you've inspired me? I don't recall. But you have. Life. Everything. Feels fuller with you in it. I wouldn't be the way I am now if it weren't for you. <laughs> Are you blushing now? Huh. Well, I love the fact that we get to spend time alone together. Whether it's in the library, in the lab, in the kitchen, or on dates like this. I'll treasure these moments forever. You feel the same way, hmm? Eh? Stop it! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you're right. Days like these remind me to relax and not to take everything so seriously. I would never have said this a few years back. But I realize now that what brings me the most joy is an accomplishment or a success in Magecraft. It's simplicity. It stays like today. What's with the yawning? Did you stay up late again last night? I see. Well, food is important. What are you do- <sighs> No, it, it's fine. You can keep your head in my lap. <sighs> I wish I could always be here for you like this.